How would my exes describe our relationship? So we met at... At a photo shoot in New York City. At a showcase, he was performing and I was hosting. It was at a party that he was hosting. She was attracted to my... Tattoos, I like the fact that he had a lot of them. His smile. His smile and his dimples. And I was attracted to her. The color of my eyes and the texture of my hair. My hair and my lips. She said I had a pretty face. Besides my hair, definitely my chest. <laughs> My type is... I don't really think he has a type. Well put together girls, and he likes like a chill, mellow vibe. Attractive, of course. Somebody who's outgoing. Ambitious. Ambitious, natural curly hair, nice eyes, pink lips, on the face. Who made the first move? He did, he said, hi, my name is Sean. He just came up to me, complimented my hair, he asked me where I was from. I did. I sent him over a drink and he walked over to me and then it all started from there. Our first kiss was... It was sweet. It was at Dumbo Park, next to like the bridge. He walked me to my car and that's when he made the first move to kiss me. He was driving and it just kind of just happened at the red light. Our first date was... We went on a date in Dumbo Park and we walked to the carousel. We went to a hookah lounge. We went to Olive Garden. She thought my best personality trait was... He would always be like engaged in what I had to say. He's very calm. His sense of humor, he's definitely funny. And I really liked her... Maybe that I'm really sweet, like I'm very nice. I'm sassy, but I'm sweet at the same time. I'm funnier. <laughs> she thought I really looked like... I don't think he looks like a celebrity to me. I don't think he looks like anybody. He looks like him. Nelly, heard that once. I thought she really looked like... Golden Barbie, she's a model, Jasmine Sanders. You guys remember Rush Hour? Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button! He would say I looked like her when I was younger. <laughs> I would, I would... Not that he mentioned. Our go-to date restaurant was... Chipotle. 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 But it was like Chipotle, Chipotle. It's lit. I'm gonna have that when I leave. Who paid on dates? He did. He would never let me pay. It's like a pride thing with him. I don't have an issue paying, which was the majority of the time. The best picture of us? We loved to eat. Eat and Netflix. We love to do our work side by side. We like to dance to R&B music, R&B and hip hop. Hip hop, R&B, rap. We went to. We went to a sip and paint. I can't paint, but it was fun. He was hosting an event at a hookah lounge. It was like a lit night. We did go to this restaurant one time. They had really good chicken fingers. My favorite hobby is... Working. Basketball. 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 My favorite sports team is... I don't know. The Warriors. The Warriors. The Warriors. My favorite celebrity is... Drake. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. He sings. He's funny. My goal is to be the new generation of Jamie Foxx. My favorite movie... I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> All horror movies. John Wick. See how fast that was? I could have been in that movie. <laughs> You see how fast that was? My favorite musician. He definitely did tell me this. Dave East. Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx, the legend. My celebrity crush. Golden Barbie. Jasmine Sanders. Maybe Jasmine Sanders because he said I looked like her. Jasmine Sanders, Golden Barbie. Marissa looks just like her. She knew my favorite food was. The chicken bowl from Chipotle. Chipotle, the chicken and rice bowl. Chipotle, the rice and chicken bowl. Chipotle, the bowl with the rice chicken. My most cherished item. Maybe his car at the time. His phone. Maybe his chain. It's definitely my chain. Something that always makes me happy. Chipotle. His mom. Food, uh, singing, females. His music. She knows I'm really proud of my... Definitely his music. His music. His music accomplishments. My music success. The tours, good vibes, the people. Shout out to y'all, showing all the love. I always wanted to buy... I feel like like a foreign car. Probably like a red Ferrari. A Porsche. Porsche coupe. Money green, white seats, wood grain interior. She knew I loved to travel to... Manhattan. He loved to be in LA. Anywhere in Europe. Europe. Amsterdam. Red Light District. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. She knew I always dreamed I would... Become a singer. What he's doing now? A basketball player before his injury, and then after it was to be a singer. A successful singer, songwriter, and actor. My greatest skill is... He can sing. Basketball. Networking. Would we'll definitely be networking. Definitely a people's person. I like to build. Who's a better driver? 
I want to say me, but it's definitely him. Him. <laughs> me. All my jobs were driving jobs, so yeah, I have a CDL and everything. And then who takes longer to get ready? I think it's him. Me. Sadly, I do. The holidays we spent together. We hung out around Christmas time, but we didn't spend Christmas together or anything. We spent a Thanksgiving together. Christmas and my birthday. I got her. Teddy bears and flowers. He had got me a bracelet. We didn't, we didn't do that. <laughs> and she got me. A watch. Well, I bought him 2K. We didn't do that. Did we say I love you? No. No. We did. In the morning, I would always... FaceTime me. Text me good morning. He snaps in the morning. Our sex life was... It was bomb. Definitely spicy. Infrequent, but it was romantic and sweet. I always use protection. I actually have a big... You want to see my bag? I got a, I got something in my bag right now. You want to sure. see it? I always use protection. Shout out to Maggie. I would call her... Rissy. Push the goddamn button. Vante. And she would call me... Fox. Just bae. Babe. Baby. Foxy and King of Midas, because everything he touches turns to gold. We communicated most often via... Snapchat. FaceTime. Text and FaceTime. My most used emoji... The fox emoji. The fox emoji. That emoji. Is the fox emoji, of course. I introduced her to R&B music. Probably the party life. He actually taught me a lot about social media branding. And she introduced me to. I don't think I introduced anything to him. <laughs> Chopsticks. Staying home and relaxing. She thought my friends were. Aggravating. Man thoughts. Thoughts. All of them. I thought her friends were. Probably the same thing. He thought that my friends were cool. He didn't really meet my friends. When we'd hang out with my friends. He would still be the same. He was the same with me and with his friends. He was still romantic and um, affectionate. My parents thought she was. I thought I was quiet. We never met each other's parents. My parents are a little... Did I meet his parents? No. I could be better at... Being with one person at a time. Communication. Communication. I can be better at communicating and understanding her problems. I'm most afraid of... Failure. Not leaving behind his legacy. Not being able to do what he loves. Giving up. My mantra is... Go get it done. Get to the bag. Swing. I don't know what it means, but that's what he always used to say. Swing is just a vibe. It's a look. You know, it's like, if you're feeling good today, you got that swing. One word that best describes me is... Ambitious. 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 Amazing. The best memory of our relationship? Day-to-day, -day, like, hanging out. One night he was writing a song and he was singing it to me as he was writing it. I'll never forget that night. Talking about moving in together, that was special to me. The best thing I did for her? Be there for me when I needed a friend. Showing up at my house in Jersey with flowers during a bad time in my life. Just being supportive in um, you know, the things that I wanted to do with my life. The best thing she did for me? Just being there for him too and listening to his problems. Drive to Long Island in three hours of traffic to go see him. I always listen to his music. I was always at his studio sessions with him. Who's more likely to win in the argument? Probably me. 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 Every time. The best thing to come out of a relationship? Our friendship that we have now. I don't have to hesitate to call him or text him. He showed me what a genuine relationship looked like. We bonded the most over... Probably music. 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 My biggest pet peeve? Laziness. Bad hygiene. He doesn't like being rushed. Mixy people. You know, like the people that is always in the loop. So when you bring her around, it's he say, she say all the time. And it just causes trouble. She hated. His inability to open up. He always had females around. He around a bunch of women all the time. And I hated her. Being mixy. That I never made time for him. That I was quick to argue. The worst thing she did to me was... Maybe not take it as seriously as I should have. Ignoring him. Not being understanding of his lifestyle. The worst thing I did to her was... Juggle relationships, talk to me and like other girls at the same time. He lied to me about a girl. While we were dating, he was always around females constantly. My worst habit was... He's very flirtatious. Canceling on plans. He can be shy sometimes and not want to talk. I take a very long time to respond back to a text message. And her worst habit was... Probably biting my nails. I have a very bad temper. Blowing things off. Were we in love? I don't think we were in love. No. No. 
We dated for three or four months. Marissa, about nine months. Seven, eight months. About five months. Almost two years. Only Shavante was long. We broke up because he was talking to other girls. He was always surrounded by girls. I seen something that I did not agree with on one of his bandmates Instagram. Me and Shavante broke up. I cheated. At that time, I was like ready to have fun again. I started talking to somebody else. We always fought about. Honestly, we didn't really fight that often. His fans. There should be certain boundaries when you're in a relationship. She got over the breakup after. Not very long because we kind of, it was mutual, so we stayed friends. Five to six months? Maybe about a month or two? That's bad. I always used to tell her. That I'm sweet and very kind. That everything is gonna be okay. Compliment me on what I was doing career-wise and just being me. Are we still on good terms? Yes. 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 Really good friends too. She would say she misses my... His singing. Definitely his singing. The fact that he was like a good listener. And I would say I miss her... The comfort that I gave him. Being supportive of his music career and everything. I don't know. Just someone to talk to. Will we date again? I mean, you can't ever say never. Mmm, I don't know. Maybe in the future, but I don't think so. <laughs> they were amazing women, had a good time, but that's it. I'm out the game. I think she would tell my future girlfriend. Be patient. You got a king, you got a real one. Definitely keep him around. He's a good guy. What am I looking for? A woman that's confident in herself. Don't be the female you think I want you to be. Be yourself, let us like each other organically.